I've got some Dollar Tree organizational hacks and some organizational DIYs. They're all from Dollar Tree. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. For this first Dollar Tree hack, I'm going to be using these kind of off-brand command hooks that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. What I love about these is that they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, and they really are versatile. I took mine, and I decided to hang up things like measuring spoons and measuring cups on the inside cabinet that is the closest to my stove. And I wanted something that could be very versatile, where I could reach up, I could grab a measuring spoon, or I could grab a measuring cup. Up, and I wanted to really take advantage of all of this space that's on the inside of my cabinets. Now, my um, I don't have a lot of drawers in my cabinet, so I really need to maximize the drawer space that I have. And uh, these measuring cups that my mom got me also in my junk box, they come um, on a like a little hanger that I just kind of took them all off of. And then I'm just hanging these up individually because these are collapsible measuring cups. Um, the largest one is one cup, the smallest one is a quarter cup. And what's so great about these is they are really at a glance and I can grab them super, super easily off of these hooks and then just kind of cook and do whatever I need to. Here's an example of me faux cooking. Look how convenient this is. I could just reach up, grab a measuring spoon or a measuring cup and enjoy. Now for this next hack, we are going to be using these oversized kind of light switches that you can get at Dollar Tree. These are something that I will admit, I have overlooked these in the past. I never really thought much about these. And then I saw somebody on YouTube and then I saw somebody on TikTok and I've seen somebody on Instagram do just all kinds of crazy hacks with these. And I was like, whoa, I had no idea that that was an actual switch. What's also really cool about this is that there's a great stand on the back of these and the stand will allow you to really use these lights in a lot of different versatile ways. They do take a battery pack, which is super great. And the way that you can kind of access that battery pack is through these Velcro strips. So the Velcro strips are gonna help you be able to hang this or position this wherever you want. And then that Velcro strip is gonna be really easy for you to take it off and change the batteries. By the way, these do take three AAA batteries, so be sure and grab your batteries while you're at Dollar Tree. I just took this first one and mounted it under my bathroom vanity, and as you can see, it just easily sucked to the side there, and it's got a great on-off switch. Here's with the lights off. You can kind of get a better idea of how bright this is. And then this next one, I took this inside my bathroom closet where I keep just kind of excess things, towels, etc., and it really brightens everything up and it is one of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks. Now this next hack was a no-brainer. As soon as I saw these, I knew I had to have these for twine. These are yarn ball holders, but how great are they for Dollar Tree twine? So, so easy. Such a great way to organize twine in general. All you have to do is just, of course, remove those tags and then any size kind of yarn or twine within reason, of course, the big fat like Dollar Tree rope probably would not be ideal in here, but it's a great, great hack. It's super, super easy. You can just grab out the twine as you need it. It's got the little rings at the top there where you can wrap this up and you can store all of your cords very, very easily. Now, one of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks are Dollar Tree night lights. I really love these. When I have friends or family that come and visit, I like to make sure that the pathway to the bathroom, especially at night, or even just going down hallways and navigating through the house is as brightly lit as possible. That way my guests feel super comfortable. This directional light is probably one of my favorites. I love that it now comes in a bunch of different colors and that you can point it up and down and left and right and really do a full circle. This this one is great because not only does it have this great acrylic back, which you could decoupage photos on, you could even use window clings on it. This would be great for a children's room. You could decorate this up for the holidays. Lots of different fun options with this, but the bulb that is in this one, they have it in two different colors. It's kind of an off white, and then there's a blue color. Now, this is what the directional one looks like, just plugged in next to the family kind of curio photo thing that I have in the hallway. And then 
then at night, you can kind of see it does put off a decent amount of light. The other one is great. I love when this is plugged in. Of course, it's in my favorite color. And what's cool about these is that if you wanted to put several of these in your kitchen, you can bright the way nice and shiny. Now, another one of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks are these bins. I have used these bins in the kitchen and in the bathroom for a lot of different things. And this is something that you can pick up like in the teacher section, but then you can also find these in the back to school section. These are very, very versatile. And I went ahead and just added my hair dryer and some other things in there that I wanted to kind of keep in the bathroom, but under the sink and just kind of out of the way. Once you've got this done, go ahead and just add it down. You've got the bright light from the previous hack to light the way. Now for this next Dollar Tree organizational hack, we are also going to be doing a DIY. I'm going to be taking one of these pegboard sets from Jot. I've also got some pegboard accessories here. I've got a little shelf. I've got some hooks. I've also got a mirror here. This is from Dollar Tree in the home decor section. I've got some of these little wood blocks that I've got from Dollar Tree and a chalkboard. And then I've got this wood frame that I picked up in the Dollar Tree Plus section. Now I am going to be creating a kind of a valet drop station for all of my stuff. When I come home from work, I've got keys, I've got jewelry, I've got my watch, I've got my wallet, I've got my sunglasses, or I've got my regular glasses, or I've got both. And I just wanted an area where I could just kind of drop everything in my bedroom. Now, this is a uh, this is antique wax that I'm using from Waverly, and we're just going to completely cover this board. Then, of course, use your heat gun and speed up that drying process if you want to, or you can just kind of leave it chill. For these pieces here, there's no way to adhere these or attach these to that wood board. And I'm kind of going for an industrial look here because that's kind of what I've got in my bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and add these wood blocks to the bottom of the mirror. And the reason why I'm doing that is because then I can use the wood blocks to adhere the mirror to the wood frame. The, um, the mirror um, is just a little bit deeper than what I've got. So there's really no other way to adhere these to or this mirror to the wood board. Gosh, that's a lot to say. Uh, but hopefully you're following along here and what I'm doing. I'm just adding four blocks, just kind of one in each corner. And then I did end up adding one in the middle after the fact. Now for the pegboard, kind of the same thing. The pieces of wood though, it's important where you place these because if you don't kind of space them in between the holes, then you're going to see the wood and you don't want to see the wood, but then also that wood is going to interfere with the way that you are going to be able to add your accessories, your hooks, your shelves, kind of anything else like that. So go ahead and just add your wood blocks and you're basically kind of spacing that in between the holes that you see here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think I added like four or five on here. Again, this is totally up to you on how many wood blocks you choose to do. You could certainly use the longer kind of rectangle Jenga pieces as well if you wanted to. The quote unquote Jenga pieces that you can get from Dollar Tree, but these little wood blocks are kind of perfect for it. And I was able to add enough here that way it really holds all of the accessories and everything that are going to be on the pegboard. So once you've got everything kind of all glued and set up, you just go ahead and add this to your wood board and really start kind of creating your perfect layout of what you want your organizational setup to be. Now, unfortunately, my chalkboard didn't work out, and I have to say I'm kind of thinking I like this idea better. I tried to uh, cut the chalkboard with a straight edge, and it ended up just kind of cracking it. So I thought that this box would be better because then I could actually have a place to put, like, my wallet and sunglasses and different things. So go ahead and, uh, you know, you could paint it black if you wanted to or um, use the antique wax, whichever one you want. Go ahead and add some glue to this and make sure that the box is centered on there. I know it looks like it's not, but it's just the angle that it's at. You'll see in a minute here. Now, the back side here is great because you can hang this on the wall really, really easily with just a couple screws. How cool is this? 
Now this next organizational hack is probably one of my favorite things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. These are Sterlite brand. This is a brand that you can find at Walmart typically. And these little handle baskets, not only are they good, sturdy, and good quality, but they are so good for a variety of things. Now I'm just using mine in my coffee cabinet because I use a lot of coffee and I use a lot of like decaf and regular, just kind of depending on when I'm drinking it. And this is the perfect bin for me, but can you imagine using this in the bathroom? for toiletries. You could use this for spices, anything that you want to keep up high and out of the way and easy to grab. Now, you guys might remember this when I purchased this during my last haul. This was an organizational hack that I thought would be great for some bags or scarves or possibly even some baseball caps in my closet. And it ended up being okay. I will say that. It, um, the pockets are nice and deep, which is great. They're on double-sided, which is also good. The um, hook was a little too thin, though, so it didn't go around my closet bar. But what I ended up doing was just hanging it on the side of the closet on a hook, and it worked out really, really great. This next organizational hack is one of my favorite items. I've purchased this before. I actually have this in my kitchen right now for dish towels, and this is a great rack for that. It sits under my sink. It's perfect. This was also another idea that I saw on TikTok, and I thought, you know what? Why not try and replicate it and share it with all of you guys? So first, go ahead and, of course, and take apart all of that stuff. Get rid of the tag here. And if you pull really hard on this, this is going to separate. And when it separates, you can use it for a lot of different things. Now, if you wanted to put toilet paper here, you could. If you wanted to do paper towels like I did here, you could. There are a lot of different options depending on the types of cabinets that you have. You could probably even hang this on the inside of your cabinets. So many cool options. All right, you guys, that's everything for today. Let me know in the comments below which hack was your favorite. I definitely think that kind of organizational hack with the um, the mirror and like the, the kind of valet stand, if you will, to where I can kind of put my wallet and my keys definitely something that I think is a lot of fun and something that could be very, very easily recreated. These hacks are all things that I'm doing in my home right now. And I have said that, you know, I'm trying to make 2024 be more intentional and more about things that I know that not only I can use, but you guys can use. So I hope that you like today's content. Let me know in the comments below what kind of content you would love to see in the future. And I will be bringing you more DIYs, more shopping hauls, more stuff very, very soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.